What's going on guys, just a quick video inside of Affinity Publisher just to talk about adding images into the picture frame tools as well as various different shapes. So for all of you guys that are brand new to Affinity Publisher, if we make our way over to the left hand side toolbar menu, inside of here you can see we have these two different options, the first one being picture frame rectangle tool, then underneath that we have the picture frame ellipse tool and all we've got to do is select either one of these two. Go ahead and drag that out to any size that you would like on your canvas. Then to bring an image into our frame, we can do that in a few different ways. The first one being is if we go up to the top menu bar to file, go down towards the middle to where it says place, go ahead and select that. That will navigate to your hard drive where you can find any images that you may want to use. Another way that we can do that is by going up to the top left hand side menu bar to where it says picture frame. Just to the right of that it says replace image. If you go ahead and select replace image once again we can find a file and go ahead and import it that way. Or another way that we can bring images in is straight from the stock library which is built into Affinity Publisher which I have over here on the left hand side. All we've got to do is select any image and just drop that on top of the frame. Then with that image now loaded into our frame, we have a few different options that we can do. So just down here at the bottom, we have this sliding bar. If we move to the right hand side, that's going to make the image larger. Alternatively, if we go to the left hand side, that will make it smaller. Then just in the middle of the image, we have this option to move this around just by dragging that to any location you would like. You can also go ahead and rotate that if you want to move that into a different direction. And if you find that you may want to crop your image to be a certain area of the photo, go ahead and just make that bigger. Move your photo into place of how you'd like to crop that. Then you can go ahead and just come off the picture frame. And at any point, if you find you may want to readjust this, just simply go back onto the frame and select that. And we've got the options appear again where we can make that bigger or smaller and move that around. Or alternatively, if you find that you may want to swap this image altogether, we can do that once again with the same options as before. We can go up to file, go down to place and change the image. Or alternatively, we can replace the image right here inside of the top menu bar. Or we can just go ahead and just drag another image from our library and drop that on top. And the ellipse picture frame tool works exactly the same. Just go ahead and drag that out to any size that you would like. Go and drag an image and drop that in. And you have all the same options that we had over on the rectangle one. However, the entire purpose of this video is to show you that you are not restricted to using the ellipse tools available over here on the left hand side. We don't just have to use a rectangle or the ellipse. We can of course use any shapes that you would like. So what I'm going to do is just quickly delete these as we don't need them. And this next part might be a really good tip for any of you guys that didn't realize that we have this feature inside of Affinity Publisher. But from various tutorials I've seen in the past, if you want to put an image inside of a shape, then I'll show you how people used to do it, or in fact may still do it this way. So they'll go ahead and they'll grab any random shape, we'll go ahead and get a star, just drag that out to any size that you would like. Then they will just go and bring that image into Affinity, then over on the right hand side you'd have to find your image, then you just drag and you drop that down on top of the star then that will mask that inside of the stars you can see. Then all we've got to do is move the image around and you can resize that and just crop that however you like. And of course you can do that with any shapes that you would like. So go ahead and just grab something else quickly. We'll go and get that cog. Go ahead and just drag that out and drop another image. Then we'll go and grab that image on the right hand side. Drop that on top of the cog. So this is one of the problems we're doing it this way which you may find. Sometimes the images that you bring into the program are far too big so we have to zoom out to find our handles as you can see right here. Then we'll have to go and grab those handles and drag that down to the rough size that we need for it to fit inside of our shape. Then we'll go ahead and zoom back in. Then once again we can go ahead and just resize that and frame that however you like. And just like before as long as you have your images selected over here on the right hand side inside of your layers you'll always have the option to go up to the top menu bar and replace that image. So that is one way that you would add images into shapes. However, this is not the correct way to do it. So I'll go ahead and just delete them and show you the way that we should be doing this. So first of all, we'll make our way back over to the left hand side toolbar menu and we'll just grab any kind of shape that we would like to use. So I'll go and grab that square star right there. Then I'll just drag this out to any size that I like on the canvas. Then what we want to do next is now convert this shape we just created into a picture frame. And the way that we would do that is by going up to the top menu bar to where it says layer. Go down towards the bottom to convert to picture frame. Go ahead and select that. And right away it doesn't look as though anything has changed. However, if we go back over to our stock menu and we grab an image once again and drag and drop. 
you can now see we have all of the same features available that we had over here in the left hand side in our rectangle and our ellipse picture frames where we can go and make that either bigger or smaller and of course swap the image if you like and another thing you can do with any of the shapes that you've selected is go up to the top menu bar and we can maybe apply a few different sides to this just to change the shape up a little bit and just have a play with all of these different menus just to see if you get what you like and each shape that you use is going to have different options at the top in terms of things that can be done to manipulate the shape so I'll go ahead and I'll just select a different shape we'll go ahead and we'll grab maybe the cog once again go and drag that out and then we can just change the notch size if you want to or maybe the curvature or we have the two sides the whole radius or the inner radius but before you go ahead and change any of that you may want to go convert this to a picture frame first so once again with the shape selected we'll go back up to layer on the top menu bar go down towards the bottom convert to picture frame once again go ahead and just drag any image into that then simply adjust that in any way that you would like then once again we'll go up to the top menu bar and maybe change some of the teeth or maybe make the hole in the middle a little bit bigger or smaller this is entirely up to you so that is how you would add images into any shape that you would like and you can make it even a custom shape any shape that you've got whatsoever can be converted into a picture frame so for instance if I go and grab the pen tool and I just draw out any kind of random shape just maybe something like that all we've got to do once again is go up to layer go down to convert to picture frame then once again drag and drop any image and we have all of the same original features that we had on the first one where you can crop that however you like or alternatively just go and change the image altogether and another thing that you can do if you have custom shapes is we can go up to the top left hand side toolbar menu grab our node tool then we can go and manipulate that shape any way that we would like simply just by dragging them nodes and just making a completely different shape altogether while still having all the picture frame options so that is it for today's video i hope you found it useful if you did then please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button as well as go and check out all of the other Affinity Publisher videos that I have available on my channel, as well as Affinity Photo and Designer. But for now, I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video.